Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop our fuselage sides out. And there are multiple orders in which you can do the assembly for the fuselage, but I'm going to show you mine and you can decide whether you like it or whether you prefer a different uh, order of business. So I've got my two fuselage sides out. Now I want you to pull out your master former here, which is this guy, and it has a plywood companion. Here, fit that together. And I'm noticing that in my parts files for this, um, the um, second one of these plywood formers did not make it in here. So what I'm going to do is I'll be right back and with a second. So you have plywood on the front and on the back. I'm just going to assemble this guy on in here. Maybe. Just like that. And then that piece goes in like so. Okay, so once you've got this uh, this former assembled. You can just drop it in, and remember the little slot goes at the bottom. Because that's your, uh, for your, that receives your locating pin for your wing leading edge. Press that all the way in there. Mine fits a little tight. But there we go. And now you can do the same thing for the other side. And in they go. Just like that. And so we're going to end up pinching the other back and up at the front. So at this point, um, Go ahead and get these two little guys in play. Now is a good time to install them, and those go on the insides, like so. I'm going to try to line those up with those, those little pinholes as much as possible, because those serve for your, your motor mount. And it's okay if they get clogged a little, you can come back with a, a drill bit and open them up. And there you go. Next up, pop out these two little guys very carefully because they are a little on the fragile side. And we're going to glue them together so the insides line up like that. You can see there's a little bit of a gap on the outside, and I'll show you how to deal with that in just a minute. Just like that. And now what we will do is we're just going to sand bevels on the sides so they all fit together real nice like. Um, you don't want to sand it to a perfect bevel actually because it's designed for you to leave kind of a little bit of like that. And then and glue this in, and there's a thin side and a thick side. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it orients like that as far as top and bottom. And so we're just going to center that up here and 
do our install. And this will end up widening out somewhat, so don't um, be too perfect with it yet. Now we will go ahead and we'll install our bottom deck for the front section. And so you pop that out, you can assemble it together like that. The only thing really important to sand here is remove the laser tabs on the sides here, like so and like so. And then we'll flip this guy over. There are no laser tabs in the contact areas. So this will effectively just drop right on in here. It'll be a little ornery up front. But then it'll all drop in. And uh, we'll glue that up in, in just a minute. Like so. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to force this in here. It'll be a little bit kind of sketchy, but it'll be okay. Um, because the, the front part up here you're putting under quite a bit of uh, bending. So it'll tend to want to come apart a little bit. There we go. And so I just drop everything in like so. If you just pull it all around, get a real nice fit. So we're just pinching that in. I have dropped down a little bit out here. And so if there's any doubt, pinch this together real tight. Squirt some CA in around here. Next up, we'll go ahead and deck in um, some of the top here. And apologies for the screaming child in the background who's unfortunately throwing a temper tantrum and I can't get him to stop. I think he needs sleep. Correctly, spacing and whatnot. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to install this uh, front hatch or front skinning area first. So, what we'll do is we'll just lay it down like so. It's an old bottom section. Sorry, that should not even be in camera frame. And so Slide everything apart here so that it notches in okay to the fuselage. Be careful as you're doing that because you're having to push that apart and so the fuselage sides can crack here a little bit if you're not careful. That looks good. So now we will just 
go ahead and we'll glue one side in. Like that. And then we'll come back and we'll hit up the other side. thinking about sanding it, we'll sand it in a minute here. Next, go ahead and you're going to pop out this tiny little former, and you'll pop out this one as well. Be careful because this one, the grain is oriented a little bit differently, and there are a variety of reasons for that. Um, that one's going to fit right here, like so. Fasten it in. And that's what I was warning you about. Don't squeeze with the death grip or you'll do that. Um, and yeah, that definitely happened on camera. So let that be a warning to you. Gently hold it in place and hit it with some CA accelerator, which is what I was being lazy and not doing. And there you go. Now it's fastened in place. And then you can come back here and you can drop the last one in here. actually upside down. Yeah. Right. So we're just doing a test fit here and I'm checking incident settings on it. Alright. So yeah the 
this is the correct orientation, not the other way around. I had it in upside down and I wasn't looking at my plans. So let me drop that one in. Alright, so what we're going to do next is we're going to drop in this piece um, and the, the one that mates to it and that gives you a surface by which you can mount your rocket tube on this guy. careful as you're doing this because this piece is very thin. The grain is going in the, um, uh, the fragile direction. So as long as you respect that, you're going to be just fine. And that piece is going to slide in just like We will go ahead and fasten it in place. sides here. Sorry, let me lift you up there a little, like that. Now you can take this piece right here and you'll drop it in. Excuse my son who has decided to drink juice while I'm trying to record this. And I have broken that out of there because it was a hard spot in the wood. It's okay. What you're going to do is simply reattach it. Never do a build video when your family is around because they make fun of you. If you can't hear the snickering in the background. So much hate. Alright. This guy will fit in here like that. Now you have a place to seat your um, uh, engine mount tube, but before we do that, it's time to attach our tail boom. Like so. Now, in order to get the alignment correct on the tail boom, you're going to want to go ahead and drop in your wing. 
I test fitted earlier and which is misbehaving at the moment. So we'll be right back while I address the, the fitment here. Okay, so I had to do some sanding of this wing saddle area, um, and that's not so much a, a parts uh, issue as if you don't get the airfoil um, exactly per the, the CAD models, it uh, gets a little a little quirky there. So the all we're doing is we're just fitting the wing in place here, uh, so that we can have a reference when we slide our tail boom in. So that we can correctly mount it um, because we want the tail not to have any tilt to it. So this gives us access in here once we have everything correct. So we can set the tilt to correct. And the tail boom extends about a, um, you know about an eighth of an inch beyond that former. So what I'm going to do I'm going to squirt a little bit of glue there and down underneath and back here. And we'll rotate this guy around a little bit just to try to get the glue in there real good. And we'll set it in the position we want. Make sure it's lined up with no stab tilt. And there we go. this point. It's starting to tie in there fairly nicely. And good to go. So we'll hit it with a brief shot of accelerator and it should be fine. Now your last part here before we put the, uh, the wing hold down in there is that you're going to break out this piece and this is a do as I say not as I do moment. You should use a razor blade. And so all we're doing is covering up this little area right here. Don't do what I did, which was to drip CA from our tail boom mount down there. So. in and we just start checking it fills in correctly here. So now you have, let me hold it away from you, have something that's starting to look like an airplane. So. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop out this little guy that's got the kind of star-shaped hole in it and this piece right here. And so what you're going to do is you're going to get your CA glue and you're going to take this blind nut and you're actually going to press it down in here. Just get a kind of a test fit on it. And I recommend actually going in and undercutting that um, because what you're going to do is you're going to end up putting um, some uh, 1 32nd plywood facing over this to help hold the blind nut in place. And so it's about a 32nd of an inch uh, thick on the edges. And so we just want some kind of like that. 
So what I've done is I've just, I don't, know, I don't know if you can see, I've carved out a little bit of a hollow there. So now, just do a quick test fit. So put that on. We'll lay our 132nd ply over it. And it's able to fit flush with a, a little bit of pressure on it. So we've got the CA glue here. I'm going to pry this out one last time. This is a 1 16th inch drill bit. You'll see what we need that for in a second. Um, yeah. So, squirt some glue in here. I'm going to try to avoid getting any glue in your blind nut. Um, it's fairly high grade steel so it can threads can survive that but and sorry this is a I'm trying to get my money's worth out of this bottle of CA. is completely secured. And then all we have to do is drop this guy into this slot right here. I've got a little excess glue in there so being a little resistant. want to glue this in quite thoroughly. And so, there we are. So now at this point, I'm going to take our wing here. If you remember, we've got a, a hole here. It's gotten a little filled in with glue and stuff. So I'm taking a 1 16th inch drill bit and I'm just cleaning all of that out. And that was not balsa wood breaking, that's just the uh, film popping a little bit. You can come back with a covering iron and clean that up if it becomes an issue. Now if you were wondering how did I know where to drill this piece of plywood here has a whole free laser cut in it and it just had a little bit of glue in it, that's the only thing. So now 